हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हेबल स्टेटिक्स द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द टू मोरिंग केबल्स एग्जर्ट फोर्स ऑन द स्टर्न ऑफ अ शिफ्ट इज शोन रिप्रेजेंट ईच फोर्स इज अ कार्टिजन वैक्टर एंड डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स ऑफ द रिजल्ट सो हेयर वी हैव एफ ए एंड एफ बी हुज मैग्नीट्यूड्स आर गिवन एंड वी आर required to represent these forces as a cartesian vector and then we need to find the resultant of both of these vector so as we know that if we represent fa as a cartesian vector so then this force fa as a cartesian vector will be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from c to a since this force f is acting from c to a and similarly we can write this unit vector as the position vector from c to a divided by its magnitude from c to a right so the magnitude is given we can write that the magnitude of fa is 200 pounds so now we need to find the position vector from c to a so what we can do what we need to do is that we need to define we need to find the position of a with respect to this point c in x y and z coordinates right so we need to reach that point a from c so to reach that point a from c we need to travel uh, this much distance from here to here this distance along the positive x axis and this distance is 50 feet right so i will write this is uh, 200 so 50 feet in the positive x direction that is in the positive i direction so i will write 50 i and once we reach here we need to move this much distance which is 10 feet in the positive y direction that is along the positive y so i will write plus 10j and once i reach here i need to move this much distance in the negative z direction this is the positive z so we need to move uh, 30 feet in the negative z direction that is in the negative case so i will write minus 30k and we can find its magnitude the magnitude will be 50 square plus 10 square plus this 30 square and under the square root so we can find it this is 50 square plus 10 square plus 30 square under the square root and this gives us 59.16 right so this is 59.16 now if i divide this 200 by 59.16 200 divided by that answer so this is 3.38 right so 200 divided by this magnitude is 3.38 so we can replace it right so we can write it as uh, 3.38 into this uh, position vector from c to a so fa now we need to multiply this with each and every component in order to get that cartesian vector of fa so 3.38 into 15 169i plus 3.38 into 10 will be 33.8j minus uh, 3.38 into 30 So this is 111.4 100 101.4k So this is FA Cartesian vector similarly we can write FB So again FB will be equal to its magnitude so its magnitude is 150 This is 150 pounds the units are in pounds remember right this is in pounds Similarly this is 150 and the unit vector and again the unit vector is from C to B so now the position vector from C to B divided by its magnitude so this is 150 and now we need to locate that point B from C so again uh, to locate that point B from C we need to move uh, 50 feet in the positive x so plus 50i and then we need to move from here until here so this distance so this complete distance is uh, 40 plus 10 so this is 50 in the j direction in the positive y direction so plus 
50 j and then we need to move this distance and this distance is 30 feet and that is in the negative z so we need to write minus 30 k and again we can find its magnitude so the magnitude will be taking square of all the components and then taking the square root so i will do it directly in calculator so this will be 50 square plus 50 square plus 30 square so this is 76.81 magnitude is 76.81 and if i divide 150 by that answer 150 divided by 76.81 gives a uh, 1.95 right so this is 1.95 uh, let me write it as 1.953 until three decimal places right so now if i multiply this so this will give us the fb cartesian vector so 1.953 into 50 this is 97.65 i and again multiply by 50 so 97.65 j and then multiply by minus 30 so this gives me minus 58.59 minus now we were asked to find the resultant so the resultant force uh, let's say the resultant force is fr so the resultant force will be fa plus fb so we need to add the corresponding components i component is ij with j and k with k so fr the resultant i will add them uh, using calculator right so 169 plus 97.65 so this gives me 266.65 i then 33.8 plus 97.65 this is 131.45 plus 131.45 j and then adding these two right so this is minus 101.4 plus minus 58.59 so this gives us minus 159.99 minus 159.99 k so this is the resultant cartesian vector now we can find this resultant magnitude as well so let me find the resultant magnitude here so the resultant magnitude will be equal to 200 we will take the squares of each and every component right 266.65 square plus 131.45 square and plus 159 point and then we will take the square root so 266.65 square plus 131.45 square and plus 159.99 square so this gives us the magnitude equals to 337.61 so 337.61 pounds is the magnitude of the resultant of fa and fb now we need to find the coordinate direction angles of the resultant so we can write this resultant force in terms of the coordinate direction angle so this will be equal to fr magnitude cos of alpha i plus fr magnitude cos of beta j and plus fr cos of gamma k alpha beta and gamma are the angles of the resultant with the positive x and y with the positive x y and z axis is respectively right and these angles are known as coordinate direction angles of the resultant so we can find it we can compare all these components so from this we can write that fr cos of alpha equals to this thing 266.65 and if we divide both side by the resultant magnitude so the resultant magnitude is known which is 337.61 and if we take cos inverse so we will be able to find this alpha angle 
So similarly, alpha equals to cos inverse this component divided by the magnitude of the resultant. Similarly, we can compare both of these. So we can write beta directly. Beta will be equal to cos inverse this component magnitude divided by the resultant magnitude which is 337.61. Similarly, gamma will be equal to cos inverse this magnitude minus 159.99 and divided by the resultant magnitude which is 337.61. So, cos inverse 266.65 divided by 337.61 this gives us alpha which is 37.83. degrees similarly we can find beta so beta is 131.45 divided by that same magnitude so this is 67.09 beta is 67.09 degrees and similarly gamma is minus 159.99 so this gives us 118.29 so, gamma is 118.29 degrees. So, the resultant magnitude is 337.61 pounds and it is making 37.83 degrees with the positive x axis, 67.09 degrees with the positive y axis, and 118.29 degree angle with the positive z axis. So, this is the solution of uh, this problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.